Okay, well, let's get some reaction now from Sridharam Charlia. He's a professor at the Jindal School of International Affairs and joins us now. Good afternoon to you. Thanks for coming on to RT. Um, this is the sort of second incident we've seen in 48 hours. What are the chances of seeing more, do you think, uh, in the coming days? Uh, we are in November and the Afghan winter is uh, slowly setting in. So usually there is a lull in the fighting once it starts snowing and the um, mountains are fully covered. So now is the time, I think, when the Taliban feels that uh, they want to drive home an advantage that has been gaining over the course of the summer and keep pushing uh, east, west, north, south. Uh, it's now become a nationwide emergency and the state as well as its uh, foreign backers, the Americans and NATO forces are unable to uh, repel this uh, Taliban surge. And therefore, uh, we are seeing these kind of daring attacks. Bagram is the heart of the I know, American uh, military establishment in Afghanistan and the war uh, that has gone on for so many years, for 13 years, uh, for 15 years now. So I think they have formally called off combat. They say they are only in advice and assist roles. But the point is, the presence of around 10,000 American forces and uh, much smaller but still significant German forces in the north, in mazar -e sharif in Kunduz, all these are, you know, like uh, red rags to the bull for the Taliban because they would want to prove the point that these foreigners have a puppet regime in Kabul, which in any way is broken up with the internal infighting between the CEO and the president and the vice president who was threatened to have a rebellion against the state. So unfortunately, the political uh, instability is continuing, and, that's, and there's a lack of governance. The population is uh, distraught, and that's how Taliban are making inroads and advances like this. Suram, I just want to play you now what um, President Obama said uh, during his address to the troops at that very airbase uh, that was bombed uh, just uh, today. He was making this speech two years ago. Let's listen to what he said then. We said that we were going to reverse the Taliban's momentum. And so you went on the offensive, driving the Taliban out of its strongholds. Look, everybody knows Af Afghanistan is still a very dangerous place. Insurgents still launch cowardly attacks against innocent civilians. But just look at the progress that you've made possible. That's your legacy. That's what you did. He's talked a lot there about uh, progress. I mean, he admitted, didn't he, two years ago, that it's still a very dangerous place. But, I mean, in your opinion, ha has such progress been made? Well, the state has stood up. I mean, it's there. It's not collapsed. But that is like a saving grace. You know, it's not progress. Um, uh, it is uh, taking a beating every day and losing territory inch by inch to the insurgents. The state has also been buffeted by Pakistan-sponsored, uh, you know, uh, attacks uh, of the Haqqani network, which are closely integrated with the Taliban. And I think the legacy that President Obama, unfortunately, is leaving, uh, contrary to what he claimed at Bagram, as we just played, is of the failure to reign in Pakistan. Because Pakistan is so-called non-NATO ally of a uh, major non-NATO ally of the United States. But Pakistan has had a hand in stoking this insurgency at every stage. And they don't want a peace negotiation or a settlement except on their own terms and through their proxies, which is the Taliban. So everybody in Afghanistan is aghast as to how the Obama administration on one hand is fighting Taliban, but on the other hand has a so-called major non-NATO ally called Pakistan, which is the cause of the trouble, uh, largely. There have been some splits within the Taliban also, some of whom uh, recently there was a Sayyid Tayyab Aga, a very senior Taliban leader, who came out saying, we should severe our ties with Pakistan. We are losing our credibility in the eyes of the Afghan people as a puppet of the Pakistanis. And yet uh, the Taliban faction that is you know, controlled by uh, Pakistan continues to cause this mayhem. And so there is a deep contradiction here. Washington, at least under President Trump, one would hope, would go after Pakistan and rein in their tendencies to uh, destabilize Afghanistan. I think that's been, unfortunately, the major legacy failure of Obama administration. They should have been harsher with Pakistan, and that was one way they could have actually controlled this insurgency from uh, becoming so uh, uh, devastating. OK, Sridharam, thanks for your thoughts. We'll leave it there. That was uh, Sridharam Chowlia, a professor at the Jindal School of International Affairs in New Delhi there. Thank you.